Alright, as you can see, I have um, started the wiring. I uh, screwed down the control board and um, the solderless connections. Um, I already broke a wire here. I'm going to have to resolder that guy. Um, the box was fun to construct. Uh, I had to get a ratchet out to do some of the corner ones. Um, it was also it's also pretty interesting to see just exactly where this is going to fit when it folds up into here. Um, I think with the arcade buttons I can get away with stuff. Um, and I got this nice little gap right in the middle here which is just going to kind of close in on. So uh, I should be able to get away even with these guys right here. Uh, a little bit of room because it's going to fold up into here. So, um, so yeah, so I'm screwing these guys in. Um, doing the knobs first in order. Um, there's two grounds that I swapped right here that I need to pay attention to when I do that. But the easiest thing for these soldierless connection type dealios is just, uh, yeah, you just you just stick them in like so. Let me do this guy right here real quick. Um, you know, you make sure you have them in the, the correct spot. Um, the, you just do that, and then you stick them in the hole, and then you just take a little tiny screwdriver, and you just screw down your connection like so. And it should stick. And if it doesn't, I'll fix it. <laughs> so, um, so that's what I'm going through and doing right now. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how these guys hold up once I um, get everything together. I may just tape down um, the wires so I don't have to worry about broken uh, connections much. Um, I still have to do uh, this guy. The tape actually was working out pretty well, but I, I might wood fill it in here for the faders once I get everything done on the inside. Um, also, uh, I'm not mounting a, um, a USB um, extension cord for this guy, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this guy and plugging this guy in and then just kind of stamping this down like so and then running it through in there um, now I need to make sure that I lock it down and the only thing I can find is this really old mo uh, tiny hard drive bracket I'm gonna cut through this probably use a handsaw kinda bow it out a little bit and then drill it down to keep it locked tight kinda hacky but um, you know it's gonna keep the guy solid so uh, getting the wiring completed, and then once I get the wiring done, I think I'll just plug this guy in and test everything out before I close it. Um, because I need to heat shrink these guys, which, looking back, I'm kind of, like, not feeling it right now, but we'll, we'll find out. At any rate, um, we got the wiring and a little, uh, cosmetic and a test, and I think that might be it. So we're getting really close.